Hi, welcome to the cooking show. My name is Chuck. This is Chuck's cooking show. Today we're going to learn how to make food. And today we're going to learn how to, how to cook when you're poor because I am poor. I don't have any money because Bank of America took all of my money in a thousand dollars in overdraft fees. And I don't have any food and I'm going to teach you how to cook when you don't have any food and no money. And all you have is beer and cigarettes and stuff that's in your fridge. Well, I guess that's food. Also, um, also Twilight has a sequel called New Moon. And you can buy these hats at Burger King, or you can steal them. Also, when you're poor, you have to live very frugally, which means not spending any money except for maybe 50 cents. And as you can see, I'm wearing grease paint, and after Halloween, grease paint is 50 cents. Or you can steal it. Um... Really dusty in here. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how do you make food when you're so poor that you don't have any food? Well, I'm going to show you here. Shit. Oh, what? It's off. And follow me into the kitchen. So here we are in the kitchen where there's no food, and I'm going to show you how to make food. And as you can see, all I have are these hot dogs. <clears throat> Everybody has hot dogs. You have hot dogs. Don't lie to me. You have these. So then you have hot dogs. Everybody has exactly one paper plate left because they don't want to use the last paper plate in case company comes over. And so then you have, oh, <clears throat> here's one thing that you need. You need to have flour. Everybody has flour. If you don't have flour, you're lying. Also, you're going to need a wok. I'm sure if you don't have a wok, then you can use a skillet. And, okay, you need to use this oil. Everybody has about this much oil left. This is what you do. Pour the rest of the oil into your wok or your skillet. And then don't recycle the plastic because that's bad for the environment. You just throw it away like I do. Like that, see? Then what you have to do is take the flour and pour it in the paper plate. Stop that! Stop! And then what? Fuck, what can you do? Oh, yeah, uh, put the... Oh, you have to turn the stove all the way up. While you're waiting for that to get hot, you can check to see if your cat um, is shitting in a litter box or on the floor. And as you can see, mine is shitting all over the floor because it's a fucking dirty cat. There, there he is. Oh, go get your food, fatty. Go eat your food, fatty. Go ahead, fatty. Eat your fucking food. Oil is heating up right now. Don't touch it because it's hot. If you touch it, you can burn yourself. Ow! Don't ever do that. Okay, one thing that I forgot that you have to do is that you have to get a bowl and put it there. And... <clears throat> If you don't have a bowl, just use the last bowl that you made easy mac in and wash it out. I know that it's hard, but when you don't have any money, this is what you have to do. Go to your fridge and get an egg. If you don't have an egg, then you're a loser. And then crack the egg in the bowl. Over it, and then, oh, you need a fork to beat the wood. Forks are all disgusting. I have to wash one. Okay, then you have to beat the egg like this. You have to beat the egg with this. Oh, you should probably put some milk. Everybody has milk. If you don't have milk, then you are a minority. The fork goes right back in the sink where I got it from. And then, oh, this is what you do. You take one of the hot dogs out of the package and you put it in the egg like this and then you put it in the flour you gotta roll it around like this and uh, put it in the egg one. and then you put it in the box. Ow! And, and I guess you just let that cook like that. Alright.
You need a tool to use the lock. I have... Kick thing. What you are trying to do is deep fry the hot dog. You just have to let that deep fry for like a minute. You know it's done when you're so hungry you can't stand it anymore. I'm gonna make another one. That. And then all you do is use your, your pie thing, you poke the middle of the fry hot dog, and you put it on a paper towel to get the grease off. Because you don't want grease because you don't want to get fat. Then you have your deep fried hot dogs, which is a meal fit for a king if you don't have any money. And then you just have to eat them. And I dare you to eat them. You might want to put a little ketchup on it.